So while the museum is closed, one of the things we're working on is making sure that the habitats for our living creatures are up to date and looking really good and hospitable for them. So I thought today, since we're talking about uh, Jane Goodall and we're talking about exploring the world around us, that we might take a closer look at some of our creatures. So this is the terrarium where our um, poison dart frogs, our Dendrobrides tinctoris live, and these guys are from South America and they are currently not in their cage. Um, we removed them earlier so that we could add fresh plants and replant the terrarium for them. But I thought we'd take a moment and meet the frogs. Here's an up close look at some of our poison dart frogs. For me, one of the very coolest things about these guys is their bright coloring. Do you note the bright yellows? If you were to meet these guys in Central or South America, absolutely do not touch anything that is ever this brightly colored. It's like a neon sign saying, don't touch me, I will hurt you. Um, in this case, it's called a posomatic coloring, and that coloring is their signal that they are toxic. Ours are not because of what we feed them. We feed them wingless fruit flies, um, so we can handle them. I used gloves when I moved them from their terrarium to here, and I did it not so much to protect me, but to protect them. We don't want the oils in our skin to hurt our frogs. These guys are very cool and they are looking forward to welcoming you back to the Discovery Museum when we reopen. So we have five poison dart frogs very happily back at home, ready for their next meal.